So this is recorded. So we said we have seven indeterminate form. We treated the first three of them, zero over zero, infinity over infinity, and zero times infinity. We said if we have zero over zero, that's the first two uh, cases, zero over zero, infinity over infinity, as x approaching a, as x approaching infinity, minus infinity. We have a function f of x, we have a function g of x. These are differentiable then. The technique says you need to differentiate the numerator f of prime of x and divide it by the derivative of the denominator. If the situation also continued like zero over zero or infinity over infinity, you can differentiate again uh, and, until you get something different from these seven cases. When we come to zero times infinity, we said we, ha we have two possibilities. We have f of x times g of x. Then we can rewrite this in two cases. We can write it as f of x over one over g of x or g of x all over one over f of x. So we always try to rewrite things as zero over zero or infinity over infinity. Then we use the technique or the methodology we discussed last time. Okay. Now we have the, I guess this is the question that is already done. We have this case now, it's infinity minus infinity. Infinity minus infinity. If we have the limit of f of x is equal to infinity and the limit of g of x as x approaching a also is equal to infinity, then how to find the limit of f of x minus g of x? Of course, this is called infinity minus infinity type. So we have a quantity that goes to infinity subtracted from a quantity that also goes to infinity. Okay, the key here will be we need to use simplifications, algebra in general, to convert this form into zero over zero or infinity over infinity. Sometimes we need to add fractions. Sometimes we need to take common factors. Sometimes we need to simplify. It depends on the question. Each question has different methodology, but the target is clear that we need to convert it into zero over zero or infinity over infinity. Okay. Let us take some examples and see how to solve a questions of this type, infinity minus infinity. لاحظوا مثلا مثال هذا secant of x minus tangent of x. x goes to pi over 2 from the left. When I say x goes to pi over 2 from the left, يعني I am in the second quadrant, uh, first quadrant, sorry. From the left, يعني less than pi over 2, so I am in the first quadrant. طيب secant of x, what is secant of x? Secant is 1 over cosine of x. As x approaching pi over 2, this quantity approaches 0 from the right. So this first part of the quantity here is going to infinity. When, what about the tangent? The tangent is sine x over cosine x. This goes to one and this goes to zero from the right. So again, that goes to infinity. So the conclusion here is, the conclusion is, this is equal to, this is equal to infinity minus infinity. Infinity minus infinity. طيب, infinity minus infinity, let me call it infinity minus infinity type because sometimes it is minus infinity plus infinity or infinity minus infinity. What should we do? We said we need to simplify. We need to use algebra to simplify this. So what is the answer for that? It will be equal to one idea to move from here is to rewrite the secant, the tangent, in terms of sine and cosine. So this will be one over cosine of x minus tangent is sine of x all over cosine of x. And now we need to combine them in one fraction. So this will be the limit as x goes to pi over two from the left. Until now, we are not using any, I mean, orbital rule yet. We are just rewriting the question in another form. We are not using any things up to now. This is one minus sine x. I'm rewriting the same quantity only in different form. Now, if we check this, one minus sine x over cosine x as x 
goes to pi over two. From the left, you will observe this is what now? One minus one is zero over zero. So this will be zero over zero type. Now I can use orbital rules to find the answer. How to find the answer now? According to the rule we did last time, I will write here HR indicating that I am using the rule now. So this is the limit as X goes to by over two from the left. Differentiating the numerator, I will have minus cosine of X. Now differentiating the denominator, I have minus sine of X. Of course, the minus with the minus will cancel out if I substitute pi over two, cosine pi over two is zero, sine pi over two is one. So the final answer is zero over one. So this is equal to what? This is equal to zero. Any question about the exercise, please? If you have any question, you can, as usual, open the mic and ask your questions. Bye. I have another interesting question here. It says limit as X approaching one. He did not say one from the right or one from the left. So it seems that in both cases, we have a problem. Let us see what happened as X approaching one from the right and what happened at, as X approaching one from the left. What will be the form obtained? What will be the type of indeterminate form we have? If one, if X goes to one from the right, لاحظوا, what happened to the first quantity, the first part, x over x minus 1? x over x minus 1. Okay. This x goes to 1, like this quantity goes to 0 from the right. So the answer will be what? Infinity, isn't it? So this is infinity. What about the second term? The second term is going to what now? If x goes to 1 from the right. The logarithmic function, shabab. Logarithmic function is something like this. This is the number one. When you go to one from the right, the quantity is approaching zero, but from the positive side. So one over, yeah, this quantity goes to zero from the positive side. So what is one over zero from the positive side? The quantity will go to what? Will go to infinity, okay? So what is the form if we go to one from the right? This will give me infinity minus infinity type. What about, uh, X goes to one from the left. Is it also going to infinity minus infinity? Yeah, X over X minus one. If X goes to one from the left, طبعاً هاي goes to one. لكن هاي goes to zero from the left. يعني the quantity goes to minus infinity. هذا الجزء الأول minus infinity. Okay, what about the second one? هذه الكمية راح تروح minus infinity. What about the second one? نرجع مرة ثانية logarithmic function. لاحظوا logarithmic function بالشكل هذا. This is the number one. When you go to one from the left, the quantity is approaching zero, but from the left also. So the ln of x goes to zero from the left, one over zero from the left. This goes to minus infinity. The minus here with the minus in the question will give me plus infinity. فراح تصير minus infinity plus what? Infinity. Still, it is called infinity minus infinity type. Okay, infinity minus infinity type. So it doesn't make a difference if we go from the left or from the right, still we have indeterminate form and the indeterminate form is of the form infinity minus infinity. Before I go to solve the question, is this clear for you that this is always infinity minus infinity type regardless of how to move to one from the right or from the left. If it is clear, write number seven for me now, please. Mumtaz Jidan, Jamil. How to solve it now? How to solve the question here? How to solve the question here? I will say this is equal to, this is equal to, okay. This is equal to, now I have fractions that is, I mean, leading to infinity minus infinity type. One of the ideas we have here is to combine them. Make them one single fraction, one single expression here. So what I will do, I will multiply X minus one 
by logarithmic of x in the denominator. Come on. In the numerator, in the numerator, I will multiply. So I have x len of x minus, لاحظوا, minus x plus one. لأنه هي minus x minus minus one. جميل. Now what happened after this step? What happened after this step? If, if we substitute one in the numerator, we have one len of one that is zero. Minus one plus one that is also zero. Over one minus one that is zero and len of one is zero. So it is zero times zero that is zero over zero type. This is now zero over zero type. Okay, so let me write it down somewhere here. Now this is, I will just write it upstairs. This is zero over zero type now. After this modification we made in the form of the question, it happened to be zero over zero type. I can use orbital rule now to find the answer. So I will write limit, x goes to one. And then what should I do? I will differentiate the numerator separately and then differentiate the denominator. The derivative of the numerator is the derivative of x ln x, that is one times ln x plus one, له x times one over x. Minus one, I guess that will be the first one. So derivative of x is one times ln of x plus the first one is x. Derivative of ln x is one over x. That will give us one. Minus the derivative of x is equal to one. This will be canceled out. I have ln of x only. What about the numerator? I have here the derivative of x minus one is one times the second one. That is ln x plus the first one is x minus one. Derivative of the second one is one over x. So this is all over x. Jimmy, before I go to use orbital rule at another time, what I will do here, I will try to simplify the expression first. Instead of having fractions, etc., I will multiply by x, the LCD, the least common denominator. So this will give me x ln of x divided by, this will give me also x ln of x plus x minus one. I need to check again. I need to check again. What type of form do I have? If I substitute one in the numerator, I have one ln of one that is zero in the denominator also zero. So this is again zero over zero type, something like this. I need to make sure about it before I use the method here, which is called orbital rule. I need to make sure that I have really one of the two forms, zero over zero or infinity over infinity. Differentiating again, that will give me ln of x plus one, okay. All over, I divide by the things in the denominator. I'm differentiating the denominator, so that will give me uh, okay, that will give me ln of x also plus one. Sorry, that will give me ln of x. Let me just rewrite it down here. This is ln of x. That is the derivative of x is one times ln of x plus the first one is x derivative of ln x one over x. That will give me one, but also x will give me the derivative is equal to one. Now I need to substitute and see if I have the answer. If I substitute one, I have ln of one that is zero plus one that is equal to one. So the final answer is one over two because ln of one is zero. I have one plus one that is equal to two. This is another interesting exercise we have about infinity minus infinity. And this is an example from uh, the book. I mean, it's not example, it is a question from the book. But this next one is an example from an old exam that says, Evaluate the limit as x goes to one from the right of the quantity len x to the power six minus one minus len x cubed minus one. Is there anybody can figure out why he said one from the right here? Len is the positive quantity. Ahsant, because the logarithmic function should uh, involve only positive quantity, as there, otherwise it will not be defined. Yani we cannot approach actually one from the left because if you approach one from the left, one to the power six, if you substitute something less than one will be less than one. Minus one will be negative. Len of negative number is undefined means there is no graph before one actually. What should we do? Do you have any idea here? First of all, what is happening here as X approaching one from the right? 
what type of indeterminate form we have? What type of indeterminate form? Actually, actually, the first one will go to minus infinity, صحيح? And the second will go to minus infinity, but there's a minus sign in between. So it would be minus infinity plus infinity. احنا نسميها infinity minus infinity type, okay? We know the logarithmic function as we approach zero, it goes to minus infinity. So it is infinity minus infinity type. جيد. السؤال الآن, how to move from here? What should we do? Yes? We can uh, combine the lens. Combine the two lens in one logarithmic. So that will give me what? Len of, yes? X, X to the power six. Uh, six minus one. Minus one. All over. X cubed minus one. طيب, what should we do? Uh, here you see the beauty of what we did, what we did at the beginning of the semester. This is equal to len of, of the limit as X approaching one from the right of X to the power six minus one all over X cubed Minus one. Meaning only y is this. Why this is possible? Then is continuous function. Then is continuous function. Then is continuous if this limit exists and it gives us a positive number. The logarithmic function is continuous there, so we can switch the limit and the logarithmic function. Now, what about the limit inside? Now, what is the type of this limit here? Zero over zero. It is zero over zero. So I can use orbital rule to say this is equal to len of the limit as X approaching one from the right. This will give me six X to the power five all over what? Three X squared. After simplifying X to the power five over X squared, that will give me X cubed. Substituting one, that will give me one. Six over three is two. So the final answer is len of this is also a very interesting exercise about infinity minus infinity. Infinity minus infinity. طيب. Let us solve the third one, then I will give you a bonus question. Okay, it is not in my mind, but uh, I decided not to write it down. Limit as x goes to infinity e to the x minus x. لاحظوا. E to the X is going to infinity as X goes to infinity. Have an exponential function. This is the exponential function like this. It goes to infinity. Also, Y equal to X is going to infinity. This goes also to infinity. طبعاً, E to the X أسرع بكثير من X. أسرع بكثير. فالمتوقع يكون الجواب infinity. E to the X is going to infinity much faster than the Y equal to X. So I expect e to the x to go to infinity and e to the x is still uh, a finite number. Okay, so uh, I, I guess the answer will be infinity, but how to show this? How to show this? How to show this? Okay, how to show this is very simple. Which one is more significant now, e to the x or x? x. e to the x. So let us take it common factor. يعني راح ناخذ e to the x is common factor. So this is equal to 1 minus x all over e to the x and retest it, re, I mean, visit it and see what's happening here. As x goes to infinity, the first one is going to infinity for sure. This goes to infinity. صحيح? What about the second one here? x over zero. e to the x. Why it is 0? It because is infinity over infinity, isn't it? It is infinity over infinity. Yes, you claim that this goes to zero. صحيح? We will clarify this. So the final answer, if that goes to zero, is one times infinity. So the answer is equal to what? Infinity. طيب السؤال, why that one goes to zero? Why this goes to zero? لاحظوا هذه limit as x goes to infinity of x over e to the x. x over e to the x. It is infinity over infinity, isn't it? It is infinity over infinity. So using orbital rule here, this will give me limit as x goes to infinity. The derivative of x is one, and the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. When I substitute infinity, I have one over infinity. 
that is equal to zero. So indeed, the second term is really going to zero, x over e to the x. So what is the final answer? The final answer will be infinity. طيب خلينا نوضع bonus question for you today to see if you can solve this simple exercise. Very simple exercise. It is x minus plus len of 2e to the x plus 1. Think about it in a minute, and I will be back to you. Where does the len go? Uh, yeah, go. yeah it goes to infinity. Yeah, infinity. Uh, sorry, this is minus, not plus. This is minus. Otherwise, it will be a trivial question. Anybody get the answer? If you send it, if you get it, yeah, just send me in the WhatsApp so I can. Infinity, doctor. No, no, not really. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Len uh, one half. Uh, who is speaking? Mishal. Mishal, good luck. Mumtaz, you done. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, first, it's uh, infinity minus infinity. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, then we we take the x as uh, Len. ممتاز جدا ممتاز جدا شنو؟ لن ايز فور اكس ممتاز شوف زميلك بيحاول يدخل اللن فاحنا نعرف ان دائما الاكس هي عباره عن اوكي سوري الاكس شنو هذا شو قاعد يصير؟ سوري اكس از اكس از ايكوال تو اكس از ايكوال تو اي تو ذا باور لن اوف اكس اف اكس از بوزيتيف اند وي هاف اكس جوز تو انفينيتي سو ذيس از اولويز بوسيبل you know that these are inverse of each other, so they will cancel each other. Okay, so yes, what you said is perfect. This is equal to, we will write it this way, limit. You can take a note, I will not add this one to your note. So you may write it down. So it's, it is len of e to the power x minus len of two e to the x plus one. Had just so I'll a plus question in, uh, a final exam one time. Uh, the that like ln uh, e to the power x. This is from zero zero two. Len of e to the x is x. He is writing x in another form. Oh, right. uh, e, fact, fact, yes. Fact. Yeah, this is what we have. And now we have difference of two logarithms. So it will be len of e to the x over two e to the x plus one. You can divide by e to the x. You can differentiate by using orbital rule. So the final answer will be len of one half. راح تقسم على e to the x ضع هنا واحد هي طلع واحد هنا one over e to the x خلاص this goes to zero. You have one half. You can write it also minus len of two. أحسن. So you can send me in the WhatsApp your ID number and write a plus five on it to remind me to add it to your scores. إن شاء الله today in the after the class. Okay. جيد. ممتاز جدا. يلا خلينا نجي الآن الجزء الأخير اللي هو the indeterminate powers. Indeterminate powers. Given that there are three types, zero to the power zero. So this is called zero to the power zero type. Infinity to the power zero, one to the infinity. بمعنى آخر, what do we have here is y equal to f of x to the power g of x, where the base is going to zero and the exponent going to zero, or the base going to infinity, the exponent going to zero, or the base is going to one and the exponent going to infinity. What should we do in this type? راح نسمي ال y equal to f of x to the power g of x هذه خطوة أولى first step then we will take logarithm of both sides خلنا نشوف الآن شو اللي يحصل 
if we take logarithm of both sides. What happened if we take logarithm of both sides of the quantities that are of the form zero to the power zero, infinity to the power zero, one to the power infinity. لاحظوا يا شباب. لاحظوا يا شباب. What happened to this form, مثلا zero to the power zero if you take logarithm. لاحظوا this will be taken outside. So we have here what zero. And this quantity will go to zero. So the logarithmic function goes to infinity. Start, you know, zero times infinity type. Here goes to minus infinity, if you like. It goes to zero from uh, uh, the right. So the logarithmic function will go to minus infinity. بالتالي بيطلع عندي zero times infinity. هذه الحالة الأولى. الحالة الثانية. If we have infinity to the power zero. طبعا هذه راح تصير zero. And this will be ln infinity. And ln infinity is what? Infinity. Uh, infinity. So what do we have? Again, we have zero times infinity type. طيب والأخيرة شلون? We have one to the power infinity. One to the power infinity. هذا infinity تطلع في الخارج. هذا infinity. And this is ln of one. Ln of one is zero. So it will be infinity times zero. صارت كل الحالات الثلاثة شو يصير فيها الآن تتحول إلى zero times infinity. How to deal with zero times infinity? This is the case we did last time. We need to convert it back to zero over zero or infinity over infinity. So this is an example of what is happening of uh, uh, the indeterminate form of exponential form. لاحظوا x goes to zero. We have tangent two x to the power x. Which form is this? في الاختبار النهائي مهم جدا حدد النوع. So what is this now? Tangent of zero is zero. صحيح. And the power is zero, so that will be zero to the power zero type. هذه الأنواع كثير تيجي في الفاينل إكزام كثير جدا ليش؟ لأن هي تشمل نوعين تشمع تشمل ال exponential form. If you treat it, it will be back to zero times infinity. With zero times infinity, if you need to solve it, you need to convert it back to zero over zero or infinity over infinity. فهاي تشمل كل الأنواع تقريبا ما عدا infinity minus infinity. واضح؟ ولهذا كثير تتكرر في فان الاكزام كثير تتكرر ان تختبر الطالب في ثلاث اشياء 0 to the power 0 then it will be 0 times infinity then it will be either infinity over infinity or 0 over 0 فشلون نتعامل معها؟ قلنا الخطوات سهله جدا we will say okay let we will define our y like this we will define our y to be tangent of 2x all to the power x بعد كده راح نقول اوكي okay, لن اوف واي از ايكوال تو اكس لن اوف وي ار تيكينج لوغاريثم اوف بوس سايد لن اوف تانجنت اوف تو اكس سمثينج لايك ذس تمام اند ذن اي ويل تيك ذا ليميت اوف لن اوف واي وات از ذا ليميت اوف لن اوف واي از اكس جوز تو زيرو ات ويل بي ايكوال تو the limit as x approaching zero, and this is x len of tangent of 2x. Len of tangent of 2x. Jamil, as x approaching zero, this quantity now goes to zero. And tangent will be zero, so this goes to minus infinity. So we call it zero times infinity type. Zero times infinity type. Zero times infinity type. Now, what should we do to solve zero times infinity type? If you remember from our last class discussion, we said this is now x goes to zero. What should we do? What is recommended well, this, here? We need to make it. We need to try to. Should we leave it? يعني شنو? Len of قلنا دائما اللين يفضل نخليها في المقام في البسط صحيح؟ لين اوف تانجنت اوف 2x اول ديفايدد باي 1 اوفر وات؟ 1 اوفر x. Now using orbital rule I will take this one with me to the other side here I mean the second place. Next page here and we will solve it together ان شاء الله about how to continue this is equal to this is uh, okay sorry. So let us move it here. Okay, I guess this is good. Now, before I go, let me just erase it from this place because otherwise you will have one blank page in the printout. No, no need for it now. It is there. 
Now it happened to be what now? If we substitute zero, it will be infinity over infinity type. This is now infinity. This is exactly infinity over infinity. Infinity over infinity type. Okay. How to treat it now? I will differentiate the numerator and I will differentiate the denominator. What is the derivative of one over X? That is minus one over X squared. Okay. What is the derivative of ln tangent of two X? One over tangent two X first, one over whatever inside the logarithm times the derivative of tangent two X that is two times secant squared of two X. Again, I will recommend you to simplify before continue, continuing finding the answer, okay? We have secant square of two X, uh, secant square of two X, actually at zero, it's equal to one. So this is not a problem, actually. We have, here we have the problem, his limit. As X approaching zero, I have a minus sign, I have minus two, I have secant squared of two X. I guess this will be like what? This will be like X squared over what? Over tangent of two X, correct me if I made any mistake here in copying the expression we have. I have two secant minus two, that are minus with the two upstairs, minus two secant squared times X over tangent two X. Do we, do you, do you have an idea how to find the answer quickly? Do you have an idea how to find the answer quickly without doing any further orbital rule or whatever like this? Yes, any idea here? Substitute. If I substitute, I have zero here. That would be zero over zero, the, the second one. So we, we turn turn into sine over cosine. Uh, you could, and you don't need it, actually. You can do it by orbital rule directly. I will do it by orbital rule, but I need to clarify something for you for your final exam. Sometimes you need to use previous ideas to find answers quickly. For example, in this I can x over tangent of 2x times x, صحيح? times x. Now, this quantity goes to what as x goes to zero? Goes to one, isn't it? So I have minus two. What about this quantity here? Goes to what as x goes to zero? Half. Uh, half. Ahsant, one half. And this quantity goes to zero. So the final answer is what? The final answer is zero. Minus. The final answer is zero. Zero, why minus? Zero, zero. zero times one half times zero. minus two times zero. minus two is zero. Look at the final exam. I will use this method to find the answer. No need to make more orbitals rule, like in, because you are discussing orbital rules and etc. and it is not even difficult here. We can do it quickly also. لاحظوا هذه الكمية سهلة جدا قلنا هذه goes to minus two. What about this, the second one here? This one, the second one, limit as x approaching zero, I have x squared over tangent of two x. I can see that the second one here, this one, is zero over zero type, isn't it? This is zero over zero type. Yes. I will take this one a little bit downstairs. Sorry for that. So have enough space to write the answer. Good. Now, uh, this is uh, what? X squared. The curve is. Yeah, X squared. Let me just rewrite it clearly here. This is X squared. Jayid, now I can write this one as the first one is clear minus two. Tamam. The second one is the limit as X approaching zero. We will differentiate. So this will be top and I will write orbital rule here because I'm differentiating the limit. What about the derivative of tangent two X? It is two secant squared of what? Two X. Lahdo job in higher and minus two times this is zero over two, right? This is uh, just right as zero because when we substitute, the two will cancel with the two. I have zero over one. Zero over one is zero. So the final answer is what? The final answer is equal to zero. Five, Jamie.
هذا احد الانواع اللي هو زيرو تو ذا باور زيرو قلنا دائما بيفور وي ستارت سولفينج كويشن ان ذا فاينل بليز تشيك ذا سيتويشن بيفور يو ابلاي اوبيتال رول تشيك ذا سيتويشن بيفور يو ابلاي بيفور يو ابلاي بليز جاست وات try it first sub by substituting sometimes the answer will be gained directly by substituting they cheat us with the cases يطلع لي مثلا infinity plus infinity تروح تستخدم اوبيتال رول يطلع لك جواب مختلف تماما because it is not allowed even طيب الان if i have cosine x x goes to zero واضح ان cosine goes to one as x approaching zero what about the exponent one over x squared As we approach zero from either side, this will go to zero from the positive side. So that will give you infinity. So it is one to the infinity type. طيب لو طلع في الأس مثلاً minus ما تفرق one to the power minus infinity. It is one over one to the infinity. So it is one to the infinity type. In other words, we need to write let y equal to. Uh, okay, I made a mistake. Nobody told me this. What is the final answer? I need to warn you about this, and I did it myself. لاحظوا مع السرعة الواحد يخطأ أخطاء بسيطة جدا. هل هذا الجواب النهائي هو هذا السؤال؟ هل هذا هو الجواب النهائي؟ نرجع نشوف. إحنا شنو حسبنا؟ شنو حسبنا يا شباب؟ إحنا قلنا let of y. Where is it? Where is that? وين جاء هذا الكلام؟ Okay. إحنا وضعناها في المكان الخطأ. No problem. I will rearrange my note. Sorry for this, but let me take this one first. Cut it from here. Okay. Give me a few. I'll delete this. Few seconds to show you what I mean by I made it. It's not a mistake, but the solution is not yet completed. It's not yet completed. I need to arrange my notes somehow to let you see all details. Ya shabab, okay. I will do it later. Nakin, al-an. Let us go back to the previous page and see what we calculated up to now. Hna gilna y equal to tangent to x to the power x. Wa akhadna logarithm lo tarafin. Thumma hasabna shinu fi nihaya. Hasabna wa tlaahdu len of y. Limit of len of y. Not yet limit of y. We need limit of y, not limit of len of y. لحد الآن اللي أوجدناه هو limit of what limit of len of y not limit of y الآن الجواب النهائي شنو حرام مثلا واحد يحل سؤال زي كده في الفاينل إكزام وتكون الإجابة موجودة زيرو في الخيارات يختار الزيرو الآن نقول هنا note this is very important note you see I made it myself I made this common mistake myself now limit of as x approaching zero of len of y is equal to zero هذا يقتضي شنو؟ ان ليميت اوف واي ليميت اوف واي از اتش ابروتشنج زيرو شو يساوي؟ مين يقول لي الجواب؟ 1 احسنت اي تو ذا باور زيرو اللي هو شو يساوي؟ يساوي 1 طيب هنا في شغله استخدمناها ايضا على اساس نوصل للنتيجه اند ذات از فيري انترستنج ثيورم ذا لوغاريتميك فانكشن از كونتينيوس ذاتس واي لما اقول ليميت اوف لين اوف واي اقدر اقول لين اوف ذا ليميت اوف واي از ايكوال تو زيرو سو ليميت اوف واي از اي تو ذا باور زيرو which is equal to, as you said, 1, e to the power 0. طيب, ممتاز جداً. خلونا نحرك بس هذه لمكانها الصحيحة الآن. To the top here. Oops, oops. I guess this is okay. Now, before we go to the second exercise, I will repeat what I said now. لازم we need to be careful, يا شباب, في النهاية. لما تحسب y equal to this, and you take logarithm. الجواب النهائي اللي يظهر عندك، الجواب النهائي اللي يظهر عندك you need to take e to the power that number. احنا الجواب النهائي ظهر عندنا زيرو، e to the power zero will be equal to what؟ e to the power zero will be equal to one. الان حسب الترتيب حقي ان I need to start with this one part b. So I will do it here. I will do this part and then I will leave the second one to the maybe next page. Okay. Okay, we can. I need to rearrange. Sorry for that. So, give me just a few seconds to do this. Okay, fine. That is interesting. خلاص. This is what I need. 
Now let's come to this exercise now. Limit as x approaching infinity, x to the power ln of 2 over 1 plus ln of x. Which type of this? What type of orbital rule we have? As x goes to infinity, Harry, goes to infinity. Harry, the here, x, yeah. Ln of 2 over 1 plus ln x, ln x goes to infinity, and the ln of 2 over infinity, ln here, 0. So we'll infinity to the power 0 type. الآن نبدأ العملية الحسابية هذه. We take logarithm ln of y is equal to this quantity. لاحظ ln of y راح نقول y equal to x to the power ln of two over one plus ln of x. Okay, and this implies ln of y is equal to راح يصير عندي هنا ln of two divided by one plus ln of x. Multiplied by ln of x. We know how to get it, Doctor. Then I have the and the exponent here, ln of two over one plus ln x. If I take logarithm, it will be like this: x to the power ln of two divided by one plus ln of x. And it will be taken outside as it is exponent. I can take it outside the logarithm. So what is here five is just only ln of x. لاحظ الآن ملاحظة. If I take the limit as x goes to infinity, what will happen? If I take the limit as x goes to infinity, what happened to this quantity? It will be, if you allow me, I will write it this way. Len of 2 times len of x all over 1 plus len of x. Now, what type of this? If x goes to infinity, what's happening to the type now? It will be what? Infinity over infinity type you agree with this it yes. is ln of two times ln infinity which is infinity and you can use always optical rule to find the answer for this specific situation so what is the answer for this it will be ln of two times one over x all over what one over x jimmy and one over x will be deleted with one over x. What do we have the answer? The final answer is then of two, but this is not the final answer of our exercise. Our exercise says you need to evaluate the limit of x to the power ln of uh, to the power ln of two over one plus ln x, which is limit of y. What we calculated up to now is limit of ln of y. هذا بمعنى آخر في النهاية لازم ألتفت أقول limit. أتمنى في الفاينل إكزام ما يوضعون نخدع زي كده. It is too much, يعني. لكن we need to be careful. Limit of y is equal to what? Many gulli e to this number, which is as you said equal to two. أحسن. This is equal to two. هذا السؤال اللي هو بتعلق ب infinity to the power zero. I will go to another. The last case we have. The last case we have is talking about if you remember one to the power infinity. We'll take this one. This is just a note. I need to write it at the end. جميل يلا نيجي لهذه الان كوساين اكس تو ذا باور 1 اوفر اكس سكوارت كوساين اكس تو ذا باور 1 اوفر اكس سكوارت وات تايب اوف انديتيرمينيت فورم وي هاف وات تايب اوف انديتيرمينيت فورم وي هاف لاحظوا الان لما اعوض زيرو يطلع عندي هنا زيرو يطلع عندي هنا واحد وهنا قلنا شنو انفينيتي تايب يس جو هيد تصير زيرو لا Said one to the power. Hey, okay. Yeah, one to the power one over zero plus, which is infinity. One to the infinity type they call it. Okay. نفس الطريقة راح نقول let y equal to cosine x all to the power one over x squared. Okay. And this implies ln of y will be just one over x squared multiplied by ln of cosine of x. Now, when I take the limit as x approaching zero of this quantity, I will write it ln of cosine x all divided by x squared. Now, I can use orbital rule. I can use orbital rule. This is zero over zero type directly. It is zero over zero type because ln of cosine zero is one, ln of one is zero. So it will be zero over zero type. I will just write here limit as x approaching zero. Now I differentiate to have here two x. I differentiate ln of cosine x. What do we have? It will be one over cosine of x 
times the derivative of cosine that is minus sine of x. لاحظوا يا شباب هذه النقطة الآن اللي أتكلم عنها limit as x approaching zero راح يطلع عندي minus tangent x divided by what two x. Yeah, in the final you can easily get the answer. What is the answer for this? Negative half. Negative half. Negative half. Negative half. So what is our final answer? Then uh, uh, y equals negative half. Yeah, limit of y. This is what we found up to, up to now. As x approaches, we find limit of ln of y. Limit of y is equal to what? This is what we need. Limit of y, which is limit of cosine x to the power 1 over x. Lan in sadaimen gina e to the power, the answer we gain, which is minus 1 half. Lahua ibara an 1 over radical of e. This is the final answer. 1 over radical of e. Any question, yeah, about, about the cases? Doctor, I did supply a Yes, sure. Uh, ma fam tishtan jibna negative sine x over cosine x. Derivative of link cosine. What is derivative of link cosine? Awal and wahad ala cosine, lana wahad ala ma bidafi logarithm, times the derivative of cosine, illa huwa minus sign. Hey, okay, okay, so. Okay, good. هي فقط ملاحظة نهائية before I close this section I have four minutes to close it okay I have very interesting note here for you that says sometimes sometimes you need to use elementary techniques rather than using orbital rules why is that we will see these two exercises I will solve one of them with you and I will write the second one in the note and I will post it today inshallah in the blackboard لاحظوا يا شباب كل واحد يحاول في هذه الآن لمدة دقيقة واحدة فقط. Try to use orbital rule to find the answer for this. هذه أنا ساعدكم ها. هاي تطلع infinity over infinity type. شو يصير لما نستخدم الorbital rule؟ كل واحد يجرب حالة مدة دقيقة واحدة فقط. And then I will do it quickly with you without using orbital rule. But I will go back. Don't worry. Just to show that this is the exercise please do it with you by using orbital rule and see what will happen if we use if we keep using orbital rules دكتور يس هل لازم اخذ عامل مشترك قبل اسوي الهوبيتال؟ يو دونت نيد تو دو اني ثينج جاست ديفرنشيت ذا نيمريتر اند ديفرنشيت ذا دينوميتر اند ذات ويل جيف يو انسر تمام اي ويل سولف ات وذ ذا تكنيك وي ديد ان شابتر 2 اند اي نيد يو تو كومبير ات وذ ذا انسر يو ويل بي ويل بي جيند باي يوزنج اوبيتال رولز Infinity. Infinity, okay. I will write the answer. Now you can see the answer actually. By Infinity. using techniques we did and the answer is one. The answer is one. Not infinity, nothing else. It is not infinity, it is one. Shlahatu Malahaba Lemistakdam to Obital Rule Shisir. You will keep cycling. Actually, it carrer. Ahsant. You keep cycling. There is no benefit of the orbital rule. هذا كأن واحد يعني بيروح بقالة جنب البيت يقول والله شغل السيارة وأطلع وين تروح ماشي أسهل. Go walking. If you have a method that solve the question easily, go and use it. Don't don't go to the orbital rule. Sometimes it is misleading you. In this case, it is not of benefit even. If you just differentiate, you will observe that the question is repeating itself. So in that case, I will advise you to always go back to chapter two and use this method of uh, taking leading coefficient as a leading factor, as a, a, I mean a common factor, and then simplify 
then divide by the largest power in the denominator. What I will do, I will add this question for you, yeah, شباب. لاحظوا هذا السؤال أيضا يوضح لك الفكرة هذه. I will leave it for you to think about it. And then you will, I will give you the hint now how to solve it. It is exactly the time. If you use orbital rule here, you will also keep repeating the same question. راح تلاحظ يتكرر البص يصير مقام والمقام يصير بص والبص يصير مقام والمقام يصير بص وهكذا. واضح؟ So what should we do? We need to go back and divide by the largest power اللي هو 5 to the power x. وراح يعطينا الجواب مباشرة. I will write it إن شاء الله in detail for you. لكن quickly I will write it now. X goes to infinity. I will reorganize it. It will be 1 plus 4 over 5 to the power x. All over 1 plus 3 over 5 to the power x. هذه واضحة goes to 0. وهذه goes to 0. فالجواب هنا راح يكون 1. لو استخدمنا ال orbital rule راح يتكرر السؤال يقعد يتكرر يتكرر وهكذا. طيب. أنا خلصت من الموضوع هذا 4.4. لكن something about your final exam. أحد زملائك كلمني اليوم قال أنت قلت بتتكلم الخميس ونسيت، أنا ما نسيت لكن مدير الجامعة أرسل رسالة وبعد كذا قال لا فيها تعديل لا أحد يرسلها راح نرسلها يوم الأحد القادم للطلاب. الآن حسب الجدول اللي أرسله لسه أيضا هذا الكلام خلنا أسجل خلنا أول أوقف التسجيل. أوكي ستوب ريكوردينج.